Hello, beautiful people of God. Today is day three of our 21 day water fast for financial breakthrough. I pray that all of you are blessed. I know this video looks a bit different from my other video because I'm having issues with my laptop. So just please excuse me. I'm gonna be looking at my laptop here um, and reading off the Bible verses and I've already typed up the motivational uh, section and then we're gonna end it off with prayer like we usually do. So. I pray that all of you are doing amazing. And remember, you can always email me at jesusmyking33 at outlook.com if you need an, um, what's it called? Um, I can't think of what it's called, but I'm basically gonna encourage you and motivate you to keep going on this fast because it's so important. So we're gonna jump right in. Bible verses today are coming from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. And it says, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. And the second one is Proverbs 10, chapter 4. I'm sorry, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4. And it says, diligent hands bring wealth. So just like yesterday, it's talking about being diligent. And we see here that the blessing of the Lord is going to bring wealth. So that alone lets you know that God doesn't want us living in poverty. He doesn't want us living in lack. And so we need to make sure that um, we're reading the scriptures for ourselves because there are some people that believe that we are meant to be poor. We are supposed to just give up everything because of uh, the encounter that Jesus had with the rich man. But that was specifically for that rich man. And Jesus was saying how hard it was for the rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. He was not saying for all people that are, um, well, let me rephrase that. He's not saying that he doesn't want us to have wealth. He did not say that he doesn't want us to uh, be able to, to build and grow things. Um, but of course you need money in order to create these businesses and do all these amazing things for the kingdom of God. But how can we do anything to, to grow and establish the kingdom here on earth if we don't have the funds to do it? So really seek God on that if you believe you're meant to be poor. So we're going to jump into the motivational section now. And I wrote, once again, there is something about being diligent and never giving up. As we are embarking on a journey to financial success, it is crucial to understand that it will take time. And God knows what we have need of before we even ask. But he also wants to get us in a mindset of perseverance. And this is important when you're persevering because it's it's like running the race that Paul talked about. We're trying to make it to the finish line, but you can't make it to the finish line if you're giving up every single time you start. So we have to stay diligent and we have to keep persevering. And I was guilty of constantly giving up. So let's keep going. So it says many people in the world are looking for the quick dollar. And oftentimes when a person gets a large amount of money, it is depleted very quickly. It is important to not only make money, but one must also know how to manage their money. If you are spending your money and not tracking your money, you will lose your money. God wants us to be mindful of the way in which we are living, and we must live within our means while looking ahead to the future. Taking these crucial steps will set us on a path of financial wealth and freedom to utilize the funds that we're making to create homeless shelters, beauty salons, recreational centers that are all for the glory of God. And so that's my motivational um, talk today for you guys just to let you know God doesn't want us to be poor Solomon was wealthy David was wealthy Esther married into wealth he doesn't want us to be um, poor Joseph was second in command he was wealthy so the scripture today is going to be uh, um, not scripture but our prayer is going to be for financial breakthrough so I'm just going to read it here dear God we pray for a breakthrough in our financial situation Please open doors and create opportunities for us to increase our income and achieve financial freedom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So again, this video is different because I'm used to having everything already set up and it just, it looks more put together, but today I'm just all over the place. But I pray you all have a blessed day. Stay consistent, keep going because God's going to move by the end of this we're doing this together so please reach out i'm not gonna bite you or hurt you i'm here to motivate encourage and uplift so if you need an accountability partner that's what it's called if you need an accountability partner i'm your girl just message me and say hey daphne i'm struggling you know and i will message you and, and encourage you that's what i do so 
be blessed y'all until tomorrow